Right, this is a short video just to uh, explain how to create a squared around, um, which is part of unit standard 25704. I've drawn the, um, the plan and the elevation here. Uh, the first thing that you probably want to do is to uh, label them. So I'll go um, A, B, C, D, and that means that this, the elevation is A, B, and C, D. Um, we'll want to number our points in our circle. Uh, so uh, if we start um, here, and we'll call this 1. I've, I've divided the circle up into 12 equal parts using the compass, using the radius. Uh, to step that out, um, that should be something that you're familiar with. Um, so we'll go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we've got um, a, a, a plan view. You can see the true length of the rectangle and the true size of the diameter and off the elevation you can see the true length of the height but all these lines are sloping away in both of these views so we can't actually see a true length in either view of any of these lines now this is going to we're going to split this uh, pattern here and we're going to say that it's um, not symmetrical so therefore the whole pattern will need to be developed in practice uh, if you're folding something like this up you would make the pattern in two parts because you can't really fold it on the um, on the brake press um, and achieve the false shape because it'll grab the machine at some point so what we're going to do here is create a true length diagram um, the um, we we start down um, bottom here we need a horizontal and a vertical um, and to um, to create our pattern which is going to be over here um, we're going to start with this triangle first so uh, if we set our compass I might use the larger compass for these lines if we set our compass to A1 here and Mark A1 on here, label it A1, and then I'm going to build this pattern as I go. I'm not going to create the full, the true length diagram um, initially. Um, I'm going to build it as part of the process. So we'll set our compass to that length, and before we can use that, we need to create a base. So our pattern's going to start over here, and the base is going to be um, 55 millimeters. We can take that straight off the off the plan view. So there's our two points that we're going to start from, and a one here will call that A and that B and draw an arc then we go B1 and this is almost symmetrical so uh, but for the purposes of this we're going to say that it's not um, draw a line here it's slightly different B1, put our compass on here, extend that to there, B1, that's point 0.1, and we can draw that in, that's our first triangle. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is B2. So we set our compass there onto 2, B2, 
2 down onto the true length diagram put our compass on here set to the right length B2 will be here and while we're at it we'll create A12 And it's the same length in this case, but the sizes could be all be different depending on the position of the, the round to the square. Describe that in there. Now, this is where it's handy to have two compasses, so we'll set our small compass to this dimension here. And then we go from 1, because we're going 1 to 2, and that's not quite accurate. 1 to 12. You'll never create a truly accurate squared around using a pencil like this, because the thick, and, and, and particularly at this size, because the thickness of the pencil is quite a big error. Okay, we've now got two points, two new points. So we've got B2, so we'll call it one two, and A12. 12. 12. Okay, now I'll draw these ones in, but that'll be the last time before we get to the end because I'm going to. Um, so we'll, we'll just draw the lines in. And I'm using a nice big fat pencil so you can see what's going on, but a sharp pencil will make things more accurate. Okay, so we just continue the process, and so now we go A11. A11, there, and B3. And once again, use our compass to go from the end of this line to here. B4. Now you'll see that we're on another big triangle now. So Things are going to change a little bit for the next step of the process. And we'll go A10. A10. Small compass again onto these points. So that's A10, 11, 3, 4. Right, so I'll draw these lines in. And then we'll use a slightly different process for the next triangle. We now need to set our compass to this length because that's going to be the bottom of our next big triangle. And these are both the same. And then um, we're looking at these, so that's we've got that line. Now we need to find that line. So C4, 
once again comes off the plan. And we need to from here out to here. And similarly for D10. Yeah. So now we've got that length. Okay. So now the next thing we need to do is find our next point here. So that's going to be, in this case, D9. Now I'll just mark these up. So we've got B, C and AD. And this is D9. So we'll draw that one in here and then find our point there. So we've got this triangle here. Okay, so I can put this one at the same time. We need C5. Six Now what have we got D9? We need D8. You can see here I'm almost going to run out of paper, so it's important where you place your your start point for your transition. Although, having said that, as I mentioned before, uh, half pattern is often the case, so you'd be drawing two half patterns. One, two, three, four. So we've got um, C7. Need. And D7 in the middle. So I have a feeling that this is going to be yeah, the same. So we can use the same setting there. So OK, 
Okay. And then just the finishing part. to um, take this is a true length off of here so we can take that no it isn't excuse me we've got D7 C7 now we need these two halves it is a true length to be honest it's, it's a height so the two halves will create a right angle to the tra transition and we'll measure down this length from here These two corners here should be a right angle. And then all we need to do is sketch in our curve. And there we have a squared around transition or rectangular rectangular round transition piece.